Ah, the technical rehearsal. Um, this is a very critical rehearsal in the process. Um, part of the technical rehearsal is also allowing the music and the, the dramatic element to blend. And when Sir Ibo is working, you have to give him his moment because he needs to ensure that the musicians and the music, they are working well with the dramatic work and the drama students. So it's coming to coming together to harmonize the whole. And he needs that time to pull out what he's pulling out of the arsenal. And a part of the the technical rehearsal is that dress tech where the students get a chance to fit and try their costumes and it is not only fitting the costumes and trying the costumes to see if the costumes um, fit the individual but it's also to ensure that all the movements and the and and and, and so forth that they're doing they're able to do it in the costumes as is so we have to work through those little components when it came to making the props or just production on a whole at Edna Manley College, within the School of Drama in particular, we try to create a sense of community towards the work. And what it means is that all hands are on deck, our Ansel team, um, all the students, regardless of the age group, um, the year group, sorry, um, whether you're male or female, all hands are on deck. And so you just need to see a student and say, come, we're going to start working and they come and help. And you don't even have to say, to them come and help once you start working you're always going to find that the students come and they put their um their efforts in it you know even the males are trying to glue things and you know working through the entire process and that is critical for us in creating that sense of community and it's a way to collaborate and for them to also take ownership of the task Ah, the dress tech. Man, it was such a horrible rehearsal. They did so poorly. I was so mad at them. Really mad. You know, this is the point where they're supposed to own the show and they sat in front of me looking so dejected. And I'm like, but this is your show. You're supposed to own this show. And this is like two days before the actual production. We are at this place where you're supposed to own the show. I don't know what they did on this stage, but I was hopping mad. Everybody find four times every single Everybody find four times. I mean, I'm about to walk out. I'm going 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 to things you need a team miss mccain and mr newman those were my two solid team people who were always there at all the rehearsals you know just to help to hold the fort down and to soothe things whenever i you know was getting angry or to follow up on things just to make sure things were done yes love that means you don't want to sit at the Tomorrow. But let us jump to production day. Ha! Production day. 
tensions were high. Just like before any performance, you're trying to get the you're trying to get the last minute thing in. You want to make sure everything is in place. You want to make sure that persons are on standby, costumes are ready, um, sets in place, multimedia is in place, the team is in place, as in the principal's party. Everything you want to make sure it's going perfect. And the truth is, there's no perfect thing, right? But the students were ready. Um, you could see the tension, but they were ready to deliver whatever the performances were. And of course, like Murphy's Law, or things that could go wrong might go wrong and so we had a few mishaps but what was critical was how they remained composed yeah under those pressures while things were going wrong and so while they were backstage and the performances were going on when the mishaps happened i'd have to run backstage to find them to quickly give them some directions instructions and say listen xyz the critical thing was to trust them to trust them to believe that they could do it without me being there. And I had a very strong lead. I had a very strong lead actor. And so because of that, it kind of helped. So what I did, the stronger persons, I had them leading, right? Because they were stronger in terms of performance, but they were also more experienced. And so when you had them leading the process, it was easier to get the others to follow suit. And so the kind of mentoring and peer work right throughout the process paid off. And you know, you saw it manifesting itself again during the graduation process so i believe that was a very good approach and it's one of the approaches that i think we could continue to use you know as we are working on the um on the actual production and of course throughout the process blacker give me healthy give me my script i started the rehearsal process so late so yes i'm going back to the process i started it a little late because blacker take long to give me the script but by the time i got it i was satisfied with it because it was beautifully written and let me tell you something, even though me vex with Blacker when Blacker not give me a script, I couldn't quarrel with Blacker, I know. I could not quarrel with Blacker because Blacker is a, um, a former lecturer of mine. Blacker is my elder. I couldn't quarrel with him. So I had to kind of hold it all in and then just say, Blacker, I want my script. And let him, knew I was, let him know I was not pleased, but more I really want to work. And I felt the same way about Ebo. I mean, the music wasn't coming together and and I'm angry. I couldn't quarrel with Ibo Cooper. How could I? I don't have it in me to quarrel with people who are my elders and persons who would have taught me before. So the kind of respect that exists in that space doesn't allow me to. So I had to work on my own patience throughout this, um, throughout the process. And it happens year after year where you have to kind of hold it together and remember that you're also leading a team to get the production done the way it is actually supposed to be done. So come graduation day, all the parts were able to come together. But you know, even as the artistic director on graduation day, you, you know, relax. You know, I still couldn't relax because I was still running a show. <laughs> because I had a show to run, I was still on edge with a lot of things because I wanted things to be perfect. I wanted the lights to be perfect. I wanted the sound to be perfect. I wanted the multimedia to be perfect. I wanted the performers to be perfect, but God knows the people are perfect. Yeah, and errors happened, but we were able to work through them and created a good show. So seeing them on stage in all this pomp and pageantry, and making it work was good. What was also critical was that you couldn't necessarily point on specific students and say, this student is a dance student, this student is a drama student, this student is a visual arts student, etc. Because they were all performing equally well. And so because they were all performing equally well, you really couldn't make that distinction. And I was happy for that because what I wanted was an ensemble that's working together, gel together, and we don't have any standout persons in a way that they say, you know what, this person is not so good, etc. And so as an ensemble, they work well. And when I looked at the costumes on stage, with the movement, with the music, and just how it all came together, for me, I was happy and I was satisfied with what it is that they were able to put out.
illustration, visual arts. Uh, honestly, I'm glad to say it done. <laughs> and, trust me, trust me. You dislike me that much? No man, meaning, no. meaning like um, the, the ungodly hours and like the, this, this, this training, like the, the practice, everything. But like honestly, it made me appreciate drama school more because I basically did um, first year during the whole COVID season, right? And to see like the drama students in action, it really made me appreciate the craft. You know, to really memorize the lines, like placement. There are a lot the the things that you have to really um, think about while performing. Like honestly, like to see like even um, you know Kiana in action. You know, normally, normally like you won't see as much you know dramatic um, kind of feel like on the hall but like seeing her like in her element and so you know also having a director <laughs> it was just it was just very it was just very surreal the experience you know and then have be, me being a visual artist having to keep up with like the, with the drama students even the first years you know and the dancers i was like whoa <laughs> hi my name is Brittany Nicholson from school of visual arts and this was my first production ever at, Edam at Edamani College. Um, I did drama in high school and I always wanted to do drama here. So having this opportunity was a blessing. It was a crazy ride to be honest. She always wanted to drama here. She comes to any other visualize. That's all I could do. That's all I could do. No, the plan, no, 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 no. the plan was to do visual arts and a minor in drama. But I did education, so it was too much. Um, <laughs> it was a blessing. The thing that stood out to me is how all of us come here as strangers and over time we build a bond and became family. So that's what stands out to me. I miss you guys so much. You would want to drive me crazy sometimes. I miss you guys. It's nice to see how everything come together using different um, personalities, different schools such as Damani it was great um, it was stressing at times but when you see the end game it was all worth it so thank you for giving me this opportunity bye <laughs>